Now, if I were still in the State Department, I'd be a little worried about that. Uh, and in fact, that's why I think uh, getting the facts out about how the uh, government of Iran continues to do whatever it can to eliminate the MEK as an effective opposition group is so important, and how grave the risk is that its influence in the al-Maliki government has gotten to the point where al-Maliki uh, can escape responsibility for this. But what it boils down to basically is the underlying, the absolutely critical importance of making it declared American policy to change the government in Iran. You know, many, many critics of past U.S. policy have said, oh, you know, this, this idea of regime change that the Americans pursue all around the world, it's just the wrong thing to do. We supported the opposition in Iran in a fight against an undemocratic system, and our dream was a democratic and tolerant Iran. It did not come through at this time. But even more unfortunately, it did not come true for the people of Iran when the revolution finally happened. This was not what people in Iran had hoped for, to get a dictatorship of religious fanatics, of people who misuse the Quran for an interpretation that is not shared by the vast majority of the Islamic community in the world. It was not their hope to change one dictatorship for another. I know, I know, I know this country, I know the people there, and I know you deserve something better than this dictatorship. You deserve a country in which you can enjoy freedom, the liberties which we share as universal rights. I do not believe in this talking about clash of civilizations. I do not believe that there is a religion in the world that requires believers to torture, suppress, or kill other human beings. That religion does not exist. And a religion does not exist that urges believers to suppress women and all civil liberties. It is not true that an Islamic country cannot have fully fledged democracy and the rule of law. It's not true. Iran has a strong and a huge democratic potential. And your movement is also proof that democracy and Islam go well together. Your people are educated and they have shown very often that they have the courage to fight for their rights. And we need to have a policy in place everywhere that will allow the people of Iran to use the strengths and the talents and the capabilities they have to make their country a better place to live in. We as Europeans have to make a clear choice. Do we want to maintain and stabilize the Mullah regime or do we support the democratic forces in Iran which stand for regime change and which stand for human rights. These, these people must be confronted with their actions every day. We must not allow the public opinion in the world to turn a blind eye on what happened in this country. We must make them responsible. We must hold them responsible, and therefore it is absolutely important to say it every day. I want to make that very clear. A democratic Iran, only a democratic Iran, can provide the long-term stability which we want to have in this region. 
a democratic Iran is our European best hope to achieve peace in the region and to get rid of the nightmare of a nuclear arms race in the Middle East.